but he's like, I hate Neverland. I want to leave Neverland. This place sucks. And he got off once and didn't go back. But also he talks about going and like killing other pirates. Like when he's in the clock shop, he's like, I got this clock shop from such and such pirate after I ran him through. Either they arrived at Neverland or that was before he came to Neverland. Neverland, I think. But I said Neverland, like the Netherlands. Why would he take the clock and smash it if it's before he came to Neverland? So he would always know what time it was that he killed that guy. I thought makes perfect sense No, he smashed the clocks because he didn't want to hear the ticking because of the crocodile. No, this is before he lost his hand to the crocodile. Clearly, he was going around so collecting he had a, broken clocks. He had a thing with clocks before yeah. the whole thing with the crocodile. It's clear that he he had a thing with clocks before the crocodile because at the end of the movie when they confront him with the ticking clocks, it's the clocks that freak him out. No, the, because... The crocodile is already dead at that point. Right, but he still has years. nightmares about it. Yeah, but it's the visual and auditory cue of the clock that is that causing him to have thinks, a conniption makes fit. him thinks of crocodile yeah but he knows the crocodile's dead paul it's illogical it's a phobia the nature of a phobia yes i think it's a clock phobia i think like the crocodile phobia he has tried to kill clock phobia. he tried to kill the little boy because he's like and then smee had to stop him because the little boy had a pocket watch and he had to be like oh the crocodile's dead remember the crocodile's dead yeah so i think i'm so, actually agreeing with you it's sort of like transference it's actually right. the crocodile is the object but but the, the expression clock is, reminds him of it yes yes we agree on that it's no that's what though. i was saying from the beginning and you were retarded about focusing only on the clocks but it is the clocks you see the clocks have subsumed the crocodile in his mind no the clocks represent only, the crocodile he's only subconsciously aware of the crocodile consciously it's the clocks that are causing him fear and he he's not really no he's consciously aware of the crocodile he's like i'm gonna kill him i'm but gonna the, kill him but the crocodile's already dead it's like who's on first <laughs>